When I was little, there was less than one in 10,000 children with autism and on the autism spectrum. Now, uh, there, the, the common statistic recited is there's one in 150. That was, I just read that in Newsweek. And that's in the last decade, and even more so in the last five years, there's been a tremendous explosion. It's really become an epidemic. At a young age, I was diagnosed as severely autistic. Uh, I actually had a tested IQ of below 30. And what I would do is I would spend my days spinning plates, rocking back and forth, flapping my hands, and other repetitive, exclusive type behaviors like that. I was really in every way in my own world. You know, I had no language, no communication whatsoever. And my parents were told, look, you know, we're really sorry. He has severe autism. This is how he is, and this is really how he's going to be for the rest of his life. They took me home, and they developed their own home-based, child-centered program where they worked with me for a little over three years. We actually valued Ron as our teacher and literally joined him in his world. And little by little, that little boy slowly let us in. This child went from having absolutely no connection with anybody to a very outgoing, very talkative, very gregarious, uh, considered to have a, a near genius IQ, um, and there are no signs about Ron where you would have any idea of his past. Maybe I could find out how and why. I see. Would you like to know how and why? Yes, yes, yes. I don't want to say, you know, everything, but I just really like to have a girlfriend at this point, and I don't. I really recovered completely from my autism, you know, without any trace of my former condition, and went on to, you know, live a typical life and go to school and have friends and have girlfriends and go on dates and do the whole thing, uh, and then ultimately went on to graduate from Brown University with a degree in biomedical ethics. After my recovery, my father, who's an author, Barry Neal Kaufman, he wrote the book Sunrise, The Miracle Continues, and that detailed my story. And that book uh, in 1979 was turned into a television movie, and that was seen by millions of people around the globe. Where do you go? Where? It was a real trip, and I was six or seven years old, and I'm watching this little kid play me and these actors play my parents. Ultimately, people started coming to my parents and asking, how can we use these principles and strategies with our own? Not all of these children are going to turn out like me, which, by the way, is absolutely true. Uh, every child is different. Uh, we don't make promises. With that said, I still don't get the whole false hope message. I, I just don't get it. I don't get who decided that a life sentence was better than an outstretched hand in an open